Hey everybody, it's Emily here from Travel and Ledger and I am documenting my COVID experience. I wanted to make a video because there's so much fear out there. And so I'm going to share my personal story and I know everybody's different. It's one of those viruses that it's a roller coaster for everybody and everybody has different symptoms. So I just wanted to document my experience so in case you were to encounter it in the future, you could have an insight into what to expect and maybe how to treat yourself. To give you a little background for me personally, I just released my book, Comfort Zone Correction, Unfiltered True Stories and Successful Selling. And it has been quite the journey and we self-published. So most of my time I've been home or on the computer. I've been quarantined. I haven't really been going out much, but I do have a job that I go to two days a week and it happens to be at a restaurant just to help myself limit the odds of coming across COVID, if that makes sense. So even working two days a week at the restaurant, I still encountered it. I don't know if I got it there. I also had a couple family members that have come across it. So I had, didn't have too much contact with them, but I did drop things off for them while I had it. So it's one of those things, it's definitely in my area of the world. People are getting it around me. It's just one of those things that it happened and I happened to get it too. And I have no idea where I got it from. I have no idea, but it's in me and we're dealing with it. I was asymptomatic, so I did have, I have seasonal allergies, right? So starting at the beginning of January, end of December, I kind of had um, the usual like nasal congestion a little bit. So I thought at first that it was just allergies. So I definitely started being cautious just because this is one of those years where I haven't heard anyone say, oh, I got the flu or, oh, I got a cold. It's just like, oh, I got COVID. Oh, I got COVID. So I, I knew the chances were I might have encountered something and it was time to be a little cautious. Around the 4th, January 4th, I went and tested for the rapid response test. I just wanted to be safe and thank goodness that I did because I did test positive. The health department was on it like at least in Ohio, they are on it. Like they called me right away. They told me I need to self quarantine for two weeks and um, then I'll be okay to go back to work and the contagious period will be over for the virus. Um, I definitely went through the roller coaster of emotions, especially when you're quarantining. You did A, B, C, D. I did everything right. I did everything I was supposed to do. So how is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? You know, you start going through your head about it and you start like coming up with all these ways that you may be messed up somewhere. But the reality is it's a virus and it's like you can't even see it. It's so small. So it literally could be anywhere. It could be on the mail you touch. It's just one of those things that could be anywhere. So um, I want to tell everyone, don't be hard on yourself. I mean, it's natural and I was very hard on myself. Like I really was annoyed at myself for contracting it somehow. I don't know if, but I just want everyone to know that it's normal to feel that way and you need to go through those that emotional roller coaster because I think it really helps you to get through it because you're like, Working and even traveling, you're always wearing one of these masks. I knew whenever I would go anywhere, um, I would throw it away. Um, I was always washing my hands, always using sanitizer, like annoyingly so, like getting under my fingernails, all that stuff. I was one of those like paranoid people. It could be anywhere. Just be as cautious as possible and try to protect yourself and that's really all you can do. I did do everything that I could do and there's really nothing else that I could have done to prevent it from happening. So because of that, just forgive yourself like step one of having COVID, just re just treat it like a cold. Like, you know, everybody gets a cold, everybody gets the flu. It's just one of those things that's out there and you just deal with it and you get through it and you'll get through it. If you have it, you're gonna get through it. It's gonna be okay. I was asymptomatic. The only symptom that I had was when I had that slight um, like allergy kind of reaction that I was telling you about. And it literally was just a little bit of a 
a nasal drip. Um, I did have a fever one day. I had a fever of like 100.3 and that was actually the same day that I got my test result back. I've been reading a lot about it and everyone says that day seven is supposed to be the worst day. So that might have been day seven of me contracting the virus uh, just because that was the worst day. I've had sinus infections and things in the past. So the first thing that I did was I took Mucinex and I also took uh, allergy medicine and then I also took uh, a lot of vitamins. I also used Afrin which is a nasal spray and be careful with it because you can only use it for three days but I think that really helped at the beginning to um, keep the virus at bay because that's what a doctor had told me years ago to do whenever I feel like I have possibly a sinus infection or cold coming on that to take those steps first it will help prevent it from spreading and I think that really helped in my favor just taking that preliminary step and treating it even if it was just a little bit of a nasal thing treating it as if it was a cold things that work for me personally when I have a cold are turmeric garlic and cayenne pepper those three things and um, occasionally I throw ginger in my soup or something like that but those three things are my go to whatever's happening in your body it helps replenish what you're going through the other thing I would say um, get some sort of exercise in whether it be like walking around your apartment walking around your house um, I feel like that helped me a lot because it kind of kept the blood flowing it helped me stay energized and not just like get quiet and like sit in my little like circle of grossness you know what I mean like it was I was trying to be act like a normal person I think that helped a lot mentally for me to um, not like wallow in it because I definitely had a couple days where I wallowed in it and it was it was not a good time. So now here I am two weeks at the end of my quarantine. My quarantine ends tomorrow. I've just been trying to rest and get a lot of sleep. I feel like that helped a lot. Um, I did have a bit of fatigue where usually I don't nap during the day but I found myself maybe four times a week taking a nap throughout the day. But again, I don't know if that's because it was mentally me being like, I want to get this out of me. Like, what do I need to do to get this out of me? Or if I was actually tired. I don't know. It's a weird thing when you have this virus because it is, it's not like when you have the, the flu necessarily or the, a cold where like you've had it before. So you know this, you've been through this before, you know how it goes. Like this is such a new thing. And since I was so asymptomatic, I was just really careful. I think that helped a lot because um, so far, like knock on wood nobody's had it and now we're two weeks into quarantine so far so good so I I'm very proud of myself for doing what I was supposed to do to help not spread it even though I didn't even know that I had it at the time because I didn't have any symptoms so that's one thing I want to enforce if you think something is a little off with you just start wearing a mask and be protective of yourself and I highly recommend that you go and get tested just because it could be the virus just because there's been so many different um, forms of it.